Before we start our first episode for developmental psychology, let me just open up with a story. This is the story of the giving tree. Baka marami sa inyo alam na to, but anyway, let's read it again. Once upon a time, there was a tree. And this tree, she loved a boy. A little boy. And there is the little boy. And every day, this little boy would come at anong gagawin niya? He would gather her leaves and make them into crowns and play king of the forest. Minsan, he would climb up her trunk and swing from her branches and eat apples. Minsan, they are going to play hide and seek. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. And the boy loved the tree. How much? Very much. In fact, sa sobrang pagmamahal niya doon sa puno, as you can see in the picture, inukit pa niya yung initials nilang dalawa just to signify how much the boy loved the tree. And because somebody loved the tree that much, the tree was happy. But time went by and what happened, the boy grew older. At kung mapapansin ninyo, on the screen, meron na siyang ibang initials na inukit other than the tree. And the tree was often alone because siguro yung boy, lagi na siyang nasa date, kasama na niya yung uh, girlfriend niya. So, laging nag-iisa na lang yung tree. Until this happened. One day, the boy came to the tree and the tree said, Come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and eat apples and play in my shade. Kumbaga, in, for all time's sake. Maglaro ulit tayo kagaya nung dati. But the boy said, I am too big to climb and play. I want to buy things and have fun. I want money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I have only leaves and apples. But this is what you can do. You can take my apples, sell them in the city, then you will have money and you will be happy. So what did the boy do? Exactly what the tree said. Sinunod niya kung ano ang suggestion ng puno. The boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy. Why was the tree happy? Because she was able to do something for the boy. Ganyan naman talaga ang true love, di ba? Whenever you do something for the person you love, you are happy. What happened next? The boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad. And then one day, the boy came back and the tree shook with joy and said, Come, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy for all time's sake. Namiss kita. But the boy said, I am too busy to climb trees. This time I want a house to keep me warm. I want a wife and I want kids. So I need a house. Can you give me a house? Sabi nung puno, I have no house because the forest is my house. But this is what you can do. You can cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. Can you guess what the boy did? Exactly what the tree said. So the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house. And what did the tree feel? She feels happy. Again, because this is true love. Love is all about doing something for the person that you love. And whenever you're able to do that, you feel happy for that person. And then what happened? The boy stayed away for a long time. And when he came back, the tree was so happy, she could hardly speak. Come, she whispered. And let's play. But the boy said, I am too old and sad to play. I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a, a boat? The tree said, Cut down my trunk and make a boat. Then you can sail away and be happy. Can you guess what the boy did? Exactly what the tree said. And the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and sailed away. And you know the line, The tree was happy. But after some time thinking, Na-realize niya na hindi na pala siya masaya. Because look at her. She used to be a very tall apple tree and now she is just an old stump. What happened next? After a long time, the boy came back again. Inunahan na kagad ng puno. I'm sorry, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. The boy said, you know what? That's fine because my teeth are too weak anyway for apples. Well, my branches are gone. You can no longer swing on them. That's okay, the boy said, because sabi nung, sabi nung bata, I'm too old to swing branches anyway. Well, my trunk is gone, said the tree. You can no longer climb. That's okay, because I'm too tired to climb anyway. And the tree was so apologetic. I'm sorry. I wish 
I have something left to give you, but as you can see, I have nothing left. I am just an old stump. I'm sorry. Kumbaga, nagigilty pa yung puno at wala siyang maibigay doon sa taong mahal niya. But the boy said, You know what? I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest because I'm tired. And when the tree heard that, straightening herself up as much as she could, well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. So why don't you come sit down and rest? And the boy did. And the tree was happy. And that is the story of the giving tree. Hi, nako. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that story in so many ways. Pero kung merong isang lesson na sa tingin ko pinaka-importante in that story, it is that change is permanent. Philip Crosby once said, If anything is certain, it is that change is certain. The world we are planning for today will not exist in this form tomorrow. Ang pinaka-permanenteng bagay lang sa mundo is pagbabago. Hindi natin maiiwasan yung pagbabago. In fact, the moment that you are born into this world, changes begin. In fact, hindi medyo late na nga eh, no? Even inside your mother's womb, when the sperm meets the egg and you become a zygote, paulit-ulit na changes na ang mga mararanasan mo. And this change that we are talking about is being experienced by human beings. And humans like us, yung mga pagbabago na yan, nararanasan natin yan as we age. So as we age, habang tayo ay tumatanda from age zero hanggang kung hanggang kailan tayo mabubuhay, one constant thing that we always experience is none other than change. In fact, that's biblical. 1 Corinthians 13.11 said, When I was a child, I spoke and thought and reasoned as a child. But when I grew up, I put away childish things. And all of you would agree, maraming pagkakaiba ang bata sa matanda. When it comes to the way they look, when it comes to how they feel emotions, when it comes to how they think, marami pinagkaiba ang bata sa matanda. Because again, as we age, we undergo changes. I like this quote. Sabi, I used to walk into a room full of people and wonder if they like me. Now I look around and wonder if I like them. And the same thing with us, di ba? Habang tayo ay tumatanda, marami tayo mga changes na nakikita sa ating mga sarili. Meron tayo mga pagbabago sa ating mga gusto. Meron tayo mga pagbabago when it comes to our personality, when it comes to our priorities. As we live this life, as we continue existing, we need to expect changes are going to happen. Now, to be more specific, in psychology, when do we expect these changes to happen? These changes happen in the different life stages. Ang buhay kasi ng tao, parang mga chapter ng libro yan, marami tayong mga life stages. And the following pictures reflect kung ano ba tong mga life stages na ito. And whenever we talk about life stages, whenever we discuss the different changes that happen within those life stages, dyan na ngayon pumapasok yung tinatawag nating developmental psychology. This is a subspecialization in psychology where our main focus is to understand the different changes that people are undergoing within those life stages. Now, let's be more specific. Ano ba yung mga inaasahan nating mga nagbabago sa tao habang sila ay nag age or habang sila ay tumatanda? According to developmental psychologists, we need to expect four changes to happen within a person. Nandiyan ang physical, cognitive, emotional, and social changes. Ito yung mga bagay na talagang aasahan mong magbabago as we continue existing in this life. Anong ibig sabihin ng physical changes? Of course, obviously, kung ano ang itsura mo nung bata ka, habang tumatanda ka, nag-iiba yan. Even your health, even yung status ng katawan mo, you know, the way they look, how they function as we age, paiba yan ng paiba. Uh, let's be more specific. Ano ba yung mga specific physical changes that we expect as we exist? Nandiyan ng puberty, people undergo menopause, people undergo anthropos, and many more. Kaya nga yung katawan natin talaga, no, as we grow older, marami mga pagbabago sa kanyang performance. Maraming pagbabago sa kanyang, uh, sa kanyang beauty, sa kanyang looks. No? Because again, in, in developmental psychology, we acknowledge that these physical changes 
are very real. Pero hindi lang katawan yung nagbabago sa atin, hindi lang yung pagmumukha natin yung nagbabago sa atin habang tayo ay tumatanda. Expectedly, nagbabago rin yung ating pag-iisip. In developmental psychology, we call this cognitive changes. One good example of this would be how we define truth or katotohanan sa Tagalog. Ang mga bata, para sa kanila, ang katotohanan, it is very much defined by the adults. Para sa mga bata, kapag sinabi ni mommy, kapag sinabi ni daddy, kapag sinabi ni teacher, totoo yan. That defines truth because adults said so. Pero nung bata ka nun, as you grow older, as you enter adolescence, habang naging adult ka na, mag-iiba na yung definition mo ng truth. What is truth for you? Truth for you is what scientifically proven. Meron ka ng paraan to define truth. Nag-experiment ka na, nagtatry trying out things ka na, okay? nagtatanong-tanong ka na sa mga experts, hindi-hindi na basta-basta tumatanggap ka ng mga so-called truths. You have your own way of really making sure that a statement is true. Diba? Hindi yan ginagawa ng karamihan ng mga bata. And so that is a very obvious change. The way kids define truth is very different from the way an adult would define truth. The third change that we need to expect as we continue existing in this life is called the emotional changes. Nagbabago tayo in the way we experience or even handle different emotions. Again, you compare adults versus kids when they handle sadness. Ang mga kids, ang isa sa mga limitations nila when it comes to sadness, they are not good in hiding sadness. Very obvious ang bata kapag malungkot, halata mo yan. Tahimik, hindi kumikibo. Or the universal expression of sadness, sadness for kids would be crying. Pero ang mga matatanda, again, as we grow older, as we enter adolescence, as we become adults, iba na ang expression natin ng sadness. We learn how to hide it. In fact, we learn how to deceive people to believe that we are happy when deep inside we are actually sad. In fact, yan nga yung reason kung bakit among adolescents or even among adults, it's very hard to catch people who will commit suicide out of depression. Kasi hindi natin mahuli na malungkot sila. Hindi natin magamit yung, hindi, natin, hindi tayo magkaroon ng clue that these are the people thinking na kunin na yung sarili nilang buhay because they don't look sad. In fact, there was this one study na ang sinasabi, karamihan daw sa mga taong nagko-commit ng suicide. Moments before they take their own life, they are going to do everything they can just to convince people that everything is okay. Ayaw kasi nilang mahihinto sa kanila. Ayaw kasi nilang merong pipigil sa plano nila. So as much as possible, they will not let you know that something is wrong within them. They will not let you know that they are planning to end their own life. Because again, the way we handle our emotions, kids versus adults, as we grow older, will become different. Yung example ko, ano pa lang yun, no? ah, kalungkutan pa lang yun. Iba rin mag-handle ng galit ang mga bata compared sa mga matatanda. Iba rin sa excitement, iba rin sa expression of happiness, and practically all emotions. The way we handle and express our emotions will differ depende sa edad natin. And last one, number four, the fourth change that you need to expect as you grow older is your social changes. In other words, how you connect or how you relate with other people, mag-iiba yan as you grow older. One good example of this is in the way you relate with your family. Nung bata pa tayo, as much as possible, yung ating oras, umiikot lamang talaga yan sa ating mga pamilya. Lalong-lalo na yung mga bata, what's the word for that? They are so attached with their parents. In fact, I know a lot of kids, kapag nalaman nila that their parents aalis, no? talagang iiyak yung mga bata because they don't like their parents going away from their house. They want to be near with their parents. Question, are we forever like that? Actually, you compare the attitude of teenagers when they learn na aalis yung parents nila, most of them, they will rejoice. Why? Because they can now do the things that they cannot do if their parents are around. Marami akong kilalang ganyan. Masaya sila kapag wala yung parents nila sa bahay. You know? So again, 
and one more thing about about teenagers is aside from natutuwa sila pag umaalis yung mga parents nila and when it comes to the amount of time that we spend with our parents nag-iiba rin yan again, nung mga bata pa tayo as many time as possible we want to spend our time our moments with our parents pero pag teenager ka na ano na ang pattern? well, teenagers spend more time with friends and less with parents kaya common complaint ng mga parents yan no, sa mga merong teenagers, bihira na lang nila nakikita yung kanilang mga anak sa bahay because most of the time, their teenagers are with their peers. Again, the bottom line of all the things I'm saying here is, as we grow older, as we continue existing, asahan na natin na maraming pagbabago ang mangyayari sa ating mga psyche, sa ating mind. I like this quote from one author. He said, The hardest part about growing up is letting go of what you were used to and moving on with something you're not. And that's the essence of developmental psychology. Pinag-aaralan natin in this, in this field kung ano ba yung mga pagbabago na ito at para paghandaan yung mga pagbabago na yan. Those are two important words. Identify changes and prepare for those changes. So kapag ikaw ay isang developmental psychology major in the master's program, yan ang pinaka, uh, pinag-aaralan mo. No? Pinag-aaralan mo kung ano ba yung mga pagbabago that people undergo as they grow older and at the same time you study what can they do para maka-adjust sila ng maayos doon sa mga changes na pagdaraanan nila as they grow older. And again, let me repeat. Etong mga changes na ito, ano to? We have physical, cognitive, social, and emotional. We identify different changes that happen in those components of our minds as we age and then we prepare for those changes para hindi tayo nahihirapan sa adjustment sa buhay. Kasi, di ba, that's even biblical, no? Preparation, preparing for the changes that will happen to our life will increase the quality of our minds. Tandaan nyo yan. The more you identify those changes that you will undergo and the more you prepare for those changes, aba, mas gumaganda yung quality ng buhay. That's why preparation is very important. Preparing for the future changes is very important. Kaya nga ang mga langgam, merong special mention yan sa Bible, di ba? Ang sabi ng Bible tungkol sa mga langgam, Go to the ant, you sluggard. Consider its ways and be wise. It has no commander, no overseer or ruler, yet it stores its provisions in summer and gathers its food at harvest. Bakit believe na believe ang Biblia sa mga langgam? Kasi ang mga langgam, meron silang habit of identifying future changes and preparing for those future changes. So, if we only apply that kind of ant mentality, maganda ang iaangat ng quality ng ating psychological life. Why? Because we can identify the changes in the future and prepare for those changes. Now, before we end this lecture in developmental psychology, let me just share with you my personal definition of development. Kasi so far, lagi kong kinoconnect yung development with aging. But as a developmental psychologist, I totally believe that development is not always equal to aging. Don't get me wrong. Ang, ang, ang developmental psychology, malaki ang kinalaman sa age. Malaki ang kinalaman sa developmental stages. Pero, in-extend ko kasi yung definition ng development, meron kasi tayo mga bagay na pagbabago na walang kinalaman sa age. For me, as a developmental psychologist, development is also the different ways that we do so that we can move from a lower level to a better level. Kung baga, ang magandang word dito is upgrade. Developmental psychology is a field in psychology where we study how to upgrade the functioning of our minds even if hindi related sa age. Siguro para mas malinang, let me give you some examples of mga uh, topics na about upgrade. Wala namang kinalaman sa age, pero it's about upgrade. Let me give you two examples. Halimbawa, we want to deal with shyness. As we know, in emotional intelligence, one very important psychological trait that people need to develop is sociability. 
dapat hindi ka masyadong mahiyain, dapat marunong kang makitungo sa ibang tao, dapat marunong kang makakonect sa ibang tao. So, how, what do you do with a person who is shy? In developmental psychology, we study that. We study shyness and at the same time, we study how to develop this person to become more sociable. Diba? Eh, yung shyness naman, hindi naman lagi may kinalaman sa age yan. Eh. Diba? Shyness can be independent of age. But if you want to improve shyness, you want to turn a shy person to become more sociable, then that is also developmental psychology. Kung baga, i-upgrade natin yung kanyang sociability. The same thing with self-esteem. Diba? Kapag yung tao, wala siyang value sa sarili niya, at gusto natin pataasin yung value niya sa sarili niya, then that is also developmental psychology. In other words, we are going to upgrade that person's self-esteem. So that is what you mean by development. The changes that happen to you as you grow older, and the different psychological aspects about yourself that you would like to upgrade. So for the next lectures na... Uh, gagawin natin, it will all be about developmental psychology. We are going to study different uh, psychological principles that we can do so that it can help ourselves, it can help other people in upgrading the quality of their minds.